Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I hope you all are fine and well at home. Let us have a look at the topics of this week. We'll do the third part of the rainbow bear. For grammar, we will do conjunctions and assessments will be conducted in vocabulary. Do you remember where the rainbow bear was and what was happening? Yes, the snow bear was a happy rainbow bear and continued to hunt and live like a normal snow bear. Happier, beautiful, brilliant and vibrant like this rainbow. But alas, it didn't last for long. His wish to become a rainbow bear brought great danger and sadness to his life. Now, to save himself, he had to become an ordinary bear, a snow bear. We will see how he becomes a snow bear again in this part of the story. But wait, before we proceed, we have to review the vocabulary. The first word is fortune, which means a large amount of money or assets. Next is wilderness, means an uncultivated uninhabited and inhospitable region. Next is rouse which means make angry or excited. Next is dozing which means fall lightly asleep. Next word is clamber which means climb or move in an awkward and laborious way. Next coward jump or dance around excitedly. Next is frolic, which means play or move about in a cheerful and lively way. Next, plunge, that means jump or dive quickly and energetically. We'll be doing the last two pages of your text. Now read along with the subtitles on the video. I hid where I could, but wherever I hid they found me. I was no longer a white bear in a white world. I made for my mountain side, for my winter den, but the men soon dug me out. I was too weak to fight the net they threw over me. We have him, they cried. We have the rainbow bear. Let's take him back to the ship. He'll make us a fortune. And so... They took me away. Oh, I had everything I had wished for. I was indeed Rainbow Bear, but my kingdom was now a cage. I could see the moon, I could see the stars, all through the bars of my cage. In their thousands they came to stare at me, to laugh at me. My only escape was in my dreams, but when I dreamt, it was always of the wild white wilderness I had left behind and would never see again. I would be white bear again, white bear hunting, white bear stalking. But always I woke and always the bars were still there. And so my days passed, each day as long as a winter, each day the same, until early one morning when a voice Roused me from my dreams. Mr. Bear! Came the voice. Oh, Mr. Bear! A small boy was gazing up at me through the bars of my cage. I've been watching you, Mr. Rainbow Bear, said the boy. You just sit there and rock. You just walk up and down. You hate it in there. You hate being a Rainbow Bear, don't you? You're thinking, I want to be like other snow bears. I want to be back home where I belong, in all that ice and snow, with all those seals and walruses. Suddenly, he was up on the wall and pointing at the sky. Look, Mr. Rainbow Bear, he cried. Just like you, it's a rainbow, a rainbow. Don't you know, don't you know? Just find the end of a rainbow and you'll have all the world to wish for. It's coming closer, closer. It's coming right over us now. We're at the very end of the rainbow. Quick, you wish, I'll wish. We'll both wish together. 
He closed his eyes and lifted his hands into the rainbow above us. Now he was rainbow all over, just as I was. We wish this bear was white, cried the boy. We wish this bear could go back home where he belongs, where he'll be happy, now, this very minute. And the boy wished, and I wished with him. I wished myself white, I wished myself away and back home. I am waking up, waking up. I have been dozing long enough down in my den. Time to get up, time to hunt. There's the light of spring seeping through the snow above. I'll dig myself out. Blue, blue sky, eye dazzling sun, wonderful sun, new air, icy air. I breathe in deep, the long winter sleep is done and forgotten now. How I wish I could remember my dreams, but I never can. I clamber out, I covert, I flick, I tumble down the mountain side. I roll in the snow, I plunge into the sea. It is so good to be alive, so good to be wild. I am snow bear, I am sea bear, I am white bear. I wander far and wide, king in my wild white wilderness. I hope you enjoyed this story. Now highlight these words in the text that is with you. After you have highlighted, think about the most important and favorite part of the story and explain to your parents. Coming to grammar lesson, we have conjunctions this week. You will be using conjunctions to join sentences and to express time and cause. Look at these sentences. There are two sentences. I can't go swimming. I have forgotten my swimming trunks. Now these sentences can be joined together to make one sentence. Like I can't go swimming because I have forgotten my swimming trunks. Next is I would like to go to the park. My mum won't let me go. These sentences can be joined together. To make one sentence, I'd like to go to the park, but my mom won't let me go. Next, I put on my shoes, I went out to play. I put on my shoes and went out to play. Next, I can't eat my sweets. I can eat after dinner. We can join it. I can't eat my sweets until after dinner. It had been a long time. I had last played football. It had been a long time since I had last played football. She was nice to me. She wouldn't let me use her bicycle. She was nice to me, although she wouldn't let me use her bicycle. You have seen in the sentences that we have used words like because, but, and until since although to join the sentences these are all conjunctions conjunctions are simply joining words that we use to link different parts of a sentence together for example but so and yet or because nor although since unless while where and so on are all conjunctions Remember, when you join sentences, the sentence should make sense. Here there are a few pairs of sentences. You have to join each pair of the sentence to make one sentence using a conjunction. The first pair is, Sarah put on her coat. It was raining. We can join it using a conjunction, Sarah put on her coat because it was raining. Next is, Myra licked her lolly quickly. It melted. 
Myra licked her lolly quickly before it melted. Saad snored. He was asleep. Saad snored while he was asleep. The spider spun a web. He could catch a fly. The spider spun a web until he could catch a fly. The bus stopped. The children got off. The bus stopped and the children got off. We stayed at home. We watched a match. We stayed at home and watched a match. I wanted to buy a newspaper. I didn't have enough money. I wanted to buy a newspaper, but I didn't have enough money. Do you want tea? Do you want coffee? Do you want tea or coffee? I like the blue dress. Blue is my favorite color. I like the blue dress because blue is my favorite color. Is it a new house? Is it an old house? Is it a new house or an old house? I have a lot of homework to do now. I can't go out to play with you. I have a lot of homework to do now, so I can't go out to play with you. I can't come out to play. I am not very well. I can't come out to play because I am not very well. Here is an exercise for you. A part, you have to correct the underlined conjunction using and, but, or, so, because. B part, you have to read the text and circle the conjunctions. C part, you have to read all the sentences and circle the conjunctions that you come across. Now you complete all the three exercises. Have a good time. Complete it. All the best.